Hi, this is Tiffany. Thanks for stopping by. Wanted to show you some changes in my fish house. I've been selling my blue marble juvenile angelfish and I have consolidated the remaining ones to the 60 gallon cube. So that left this 50 gallon tank uh, free. So I have put two of my pairs of adult blue angelfish in here. They have not been breeding and they, I'm just trying to find a way to make them happy and get them to breed if possible, but I really just want them to have a good life. So on the right or mostly on the right are the long finned uh, Philippine blue angelfish that have been in the 29 gallon for 14 months and not spawned to my knowledge. And then there's also a dark blue Pinoy and that really pretty um, blue marble. They are kind of a newer pair and we're just gonna see what happens. Well, today is the day. We are going to move, and by we I mean I, me, myself, and I, we are going to move the turquoise rainbow fry into an actual aquarium. So this tub is probably, the tub is marketed as an 18 gallon tub, Sterilite tub. And I'd say I probably have maybe 15, 14, 15 gallons in it thereabouts and these guys are going to be moved into a 29 gallon aquarium i would estimate that these fry are um now these hatched the eggs hatched at different times but i would and you can kind of tell there's different fry they're different sizes there's some really big ones back there and there's some real little ones also so I would estimate that these range on the small side from uh, a guppy, like a guppy fry. Like, okay, that one right over the filter, about the size of a newborn guppy fry to about a week and a half old guppy fry. That's what I'm thinking their size is equivalent to because I know without, um, without a whole lot in relation to their size, it might be like, oh, those are small fish. Yep, they're real small fish. So there's yuck in this water because I believe that I kept feeding them the powder food when they didn't really need the powder food anymore. So it's gonna be really nice to just give them a fresh tank and clean out this tub and have one less tub in my kitchen floor. So here we go. I have a shrimp net and I am going to catch these guys and put them in this little two gallon bucket with some water and pour them into the 29 gallon. We'll see how it goes. So these guys are sneaky little things. They're very fast. So I have my shrimp net and I have caught the majority of them. I've also got a bunch of the mess that was in this tub because it just got stirred up in the process. So there's not that many left and we're just trying to get them, but it's, um, Quite a process, now that there's not many in here. I don't know if you can see how fast they are. They're small little things. Anyway, we're almost done. Okay, here goes nothing. We're gonna pour these guys in. Hello, it is the day after we moved the turquoise rainbow fry 
into this 29 gallon tank from the tub in my kitchen floor and they're doing good. They're swimming. They're kind of, it's really neat to be able to see them from the side, not just from the top and to watch more about their behavior. And they really needed more space. So it's, it's pretty cool to be able to see them in, in this way. We did have one casualty. One of the smaller ones died shortly after I put them in this tank, but everybody else is doing really well. I have their temperature at about 80. It was at about 81 last night. Yeah, so they, they need to be between 80 and 82-ish is from what I understand, from what I, well, I watch videos. Of course I watch videos to learn how to raise these guys. So you will also see me moving some baby angelfish and those baby angelfish are only about one week older than these guys. There were some turquoise rainbow fry that was hatched right around the same time as the angels within days, just within like two days or so. But uh, the very first turquoise rainbow fry did not live because I did not know how to take care of them. I had to learn, I had some failures along the way and it was kind of discouraging, but it is very, I don't know, it just makes me happy to see these guys doing well and I'm excited to see them grow. They don't look like much right now. But I tell you, I had some of my largest angelfish in here before. It's so weird to come into the room uh, if the lights are on and see these tiny little fish when I'm used to seeing just two big fish. And there's like, I don't know, 50 or 60 small little bitty fish. Really should try to count them. Not feeling inclined. Not feeling inclined to count them, but... So we're gonna feed them. Okay, so we are feeding the baby angels. Oh, not angels, what am I saying? Rainbow fish, yeah, 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 rainbows. So I have given them some aquarium co-op, small fish and fry food, which is a powdery food. And I've used, oh, more than half of this bottle. So that's kind of floating on the top and then the hang on back filter is kind of sending some of it down to the bottom and you can see they're eagerly finding the food at the bottom on the bottom kind of right they're playing in the current and getting the food that's coming down but most of it's floating then i'm probably going to start giving them some flake food that's crunched up so these guys are probably about <clears throat> three to four weeks old, three to four. And it's taken them a couple weeks to be able to eat what I would normally feed like my baby angelfish. They had to start with tiny, tiny powder food, smaller than what I'm feeding them today. They started eating golden pearls and rapashi, um, but just the powder rapashi, not, not mixing the rapashi into the gel, just giving it to them straight from the bottle. So today we are going to move the baby angels from downstairs, the 10 gallon they're currently in, into this 20 gallon. I cleaned it yesterday. I scraped some of the yuck off the sides. I need to siphon a few things out again. And yeah, so we're gonna move the baby angels up here. Here are their parents, the parents of the baby angels. I need to take one of their cones out. They like the, the one on the left, not the one on the right, when given a choice. So yeah, we're gonna move the baby angels today. They're going to have double the space, roughly, because they're going from a 10 to a 20. It is time. They, they really need more space. So that's what's happening. The next project is to move the baby angels from this tank in the kitchen. They are currently in a 10-gallon. 
And if you look back, these were probably hatched about five weeks ago. And I have video of them when they were just little bitty little, looked like grains of rice. And now they are, now they are uh, needing more space. I think they need more space or it'd be good, it'd be, certainly be good for them to have more space. And it'd be good for me to get one, have one less tank on my kitchen counter. So we are going to move these guys. These are the blue marble angels and the dark blue Pinoy. And some of them look really neat. They have like dark fins. This one, I don't know if I can get it to focus on him, have like dark fins and some of them look like they kind of have a mask on. It's really neat. There's one. Where is he? There he is. Kind of in the center. If he turned to the side, he kind of looks like he has a dark top and bottom fin and a little mask on. I think it's just so neat, all the different colors and, and patterns and everything that we get from these two, from that pair. So we're gonna move these today to the 20 gallon upstairs. And we're gonna have one less 10 gallon, like right above my dishwasher. So that'll be good because I did not intend for there to be tanks this close to the sink. Uh, the lights have gone off, but I intended for there to be these tanks, the first maybe two, and then there's like, okay, one more. But yeah, I really didn't intend for there to be tanks as close to the sink and everything. So, yep, yep, that's what's happening. Okay, the time has come. We are going to put the baby angels in this 20 gallon. And I don't know how many there are. I did not count them as I was putting them in the bucket and I should have. But here we go. Angelfish are starting to get kind of situated and accustomed to this tank. It's been a little slower, but they're acting a little shy, but I fed them. I crushed up some flake and some of them are going up to the top to eat. Come on y'all, I'm kind of waving my hand up here, trying to get them to come up to the top and eat. So I fed extreme spirulina crave flake so that's what we're getting them it's just crushed up small they well they were just moved to this tank what an hour and a half ago it hasn't been that long so they're still they're still not real keen on everything and they just would rather pick stuff off the filter really Alrighty then they're acting shy and being at the bottom of the tank. They're they're uh, just taking a little longer than I thought to get accustomed to this new 20 gallon high tank. But I'm sure that they'll settle in. Like I said, it hasn't really been that long. Oh, the flake is settling now and they're like, yeah, we like that. Now they're going after the flake. They're coming around. It's going to take a little bit, but they'll be fine. They're starting to, they're starting to explore their new tank and eat a little bit. I took a picture of them in the bucket and I would like to count them. If you would like to tell me how many there are, it would be appreciated. I think there's around maybe 30, maybe 40. I don't know. It's so difficult. It's difficult to tell. 